Okay, Jen, can you yeah. can you see if um, you can see me on the live video? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, can you hear me? Do you know? Uh, Make sure people can hear me. Hang on. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yep. Okay, so should we just go on as normal now? Oh shoot. Why did I just do that? <laughs> Sorry everybody. Okay, we got a couple viewers now. Huh? Okay. I don't think that's the issue. We got a few viewers now. Sorry, I got cut off. Should I just go on as usual then? Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right. Sorry for the difficulties, guys, but I'm glad that we got this work in. And I see there's more people coming. Can you wait a few seconds? Yeah, nothing, nothing seemed to be working, but I'm glad it's working now. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead now and introduce myself. Um, my name's Alyssa Callens and I'm a softball player at Maryville University in St. Louis. Um, I play a little bit of everywhere position-wise, but pitching is my favorite. I absolutely love pitching, so I hope to help you with some softball pitching today. Um, my plan is to kind of give you a basic overview of pretty much everything, just the whole pitch, break it down into some steps um, so that you guys can practice it pretty easily on your own during this time, whether you're able to get outside or stay inside. So I guess we'll go ahead and open in prayer. So I want to ask you guys to um, invite the Holy Spirit into our time together right now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, thank you for all the good things that you bring into our life. I'm thankful, especially right now, that the sun's finally shining today, and that I get to be with you here right now. So God, help us to to give all these good gifts back that you give to us, to you, to show you that we're truly grateful for them by um, giving our hardest when we're, we're playing our sport or really loving our, our family when it's tough. Just help us to, to please you and to give you glory in everything that we do today and throughout the rest of our week. So thank you again for this time, for this support. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, so first things first, we'll look at a grip. So it's pretty simple. You see that C? C here. So you just want your fingers on that seam, your thumb on that seam, okay? And one of the most important things in a pitch is where you release the ball. Having a good release point, making sure it's at the same spot every time so that you can really locate the ball where you want it to go. 
So that good spot, kind of right in the middle of your back leg. So you just want to make sure that you're practicing your snap enough so that you can get it to be right here every time you throw the ball. Because what happens if you release too late, too in front here? It's going to go too high. And too back here, it's going to go into the ground. So if you see that happening, now you know what the, the issue might be. Um, and just, I know it might be like the boring part. Move your hands in the way. Sorry. <laughs> the okay. boring part of uh, practicing softball is just sitting here doing the snaps. But it's really important. To, to build off of that and so I'm gonna go through six steps um, really breaking down the pitch to um, to tell you what the important parts of each part of the pitch are so that you can maybe feel them when you're pitching really break down your pitch I've I found this to be helpful for both beginning pitchers because you can really like hone down your fundamentals before you really try to you know speed it up and pitch full and even for pitchers like me who've been pitching for a long time to to have those key things in your head so that um, when something feels a little off then I can go back to the fundamentals and um, really figure out what's going on. So, I'm going to go sideways like this, so hopefully you can see, um, and then go, go ahead and speak up if you can't really hear me too well and put in the comments and I'll, I'll try to speak up. But, um, so step number one is when you're about to begin your pitch, you're waiting for signs from your catcher, waiting for the umpire to be ready. You have most of your weight on your front leg. Let me do that like this. So I have my mound here. Okay. I barely have any weight on this back leg, so I can lift it up really easily. But if you can see the muscles in my front leg, they, they're really working right now. So I have an athletic position, my knees slightly bent, and ball and glove, ball and hand are together, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. And then step two, you're bringing everything back. So from the front leg, and now all my weight's on my back leg, okay? And I'm also bringing the ball back as well. So like that. And you can see how my heel on my my back leg is going to the ground and my toes on my right leg are coming up. Okay? So step number three, we're gonna start coming forward. So one, two, three. So this one I'm really on the balls of my toes. Um, I have my chest over my front knee like a track runner. So I'm kind of ready to like spring out. Um, so I think that's, that's it. And then we're gonna go, okay, so one, two, three, and then we're gonna go to four. Okay, and this one's kind of tough. It requires a lot of balance and a lot of strength in this leg, which is very important to um, build up that strength in that leg as a young pitcher, because you're really gonna wanna spring out instead of just step out. You really wanna bring that weight that you brought back all forward towards your catcher. Okay, so we're right here. And you can see I'm bringing both my arms up at the same time, already um, 
bringing that glove out, pointing it towards my catcher. I feel like I'm going to run into this fence if I stay this way. So I'm going to point towards you guys now. Okay, we got step one, two, three, four, okay? And then we go to five. You point it down a little bit. Okay, so can you see my back foot here? See how I'm not like this, but I'm like this. On my big toe, really, if you want to think of it like that. So that in the next step, when I'm finishing my pitch, I can just drag on that big toe really easily. See how much easier that is than trying to drag my whole foot, okay? That's both quicker, more energy efficient, and I mean, you're less likely to hurt your ankle because that's not very good for it. Um, now let's look at the front leg, the front foot. See how I'm not like straight sideways? and how I'm not straight forwards. I'm about 45 degree angles if you're familiar with like geometry and stuff like that. But um, I'm not straight sideways because again, when I'm bringing all my weight forward, I'm not in a good position, like I'm falling over, I'm in a good position to roll my ankle. So we don't wanna be like that. And we don't want to be straightforward because for the same reason why we don't want to be straightforward when we're throwing overhand. We don't want to lose all that power for one. And how hard is it for my arm to clear my hip when I'm facing my catcher with the letters on the front of my shirt? So we really want to make sure we have a good in-between with that front leg so that we can both um, have a good base to drag into and we can have a good turn with the top of our body to finish our pitch. Okay. So something else I want to talk about with step number five is see how I'm pointing towards my catcher with my glove. I'm really reaching out for my catcher. I'm not letting my glove go all the way out here because again, that's losing power. We want everything going forwards. Um, and then again, we want a nice straight arm circle that comes nice and close to our body. Think about almost touching your ear up here, and then again, coming right by that back hip for the snap, okay? And again, that requires your body to be facing, see I have my garage here, so I want my chest to be facing whatever is directly in front of me here, not directly what's in front of me here, which would be my catcher or a tarp or whatever. for the last step. So again, one, two, three, sorry, four, five, and then we go to finish our pitch. We bring our back leg to our front leg by dragging on our toe. We kind of tuck our glove. Um, straight towards our body, and we finish our snap. Um, so let's go through those one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And of course, if you feel pretty comfortable with those, 
you can speed it up. So you have to go through one, two, three. You can just go. I don't want to lose my ball when I and hit my iPad, but you know, like just go through the pitch and it's kind of actually hard to throw it into your glove. So don't be discouraged if you can't do that first. Sometimes I miss my gloves when I do that. So that's a really good drill to do. Throw it into your own glove. So then you make sure that you're keeping your glove where it should be, close to your body. Because if it's going out here, you have nothing to throw it into. So I think that's about it with um, what I wanted to show you guys today. I also wanted to mention something that is very good for pitchers. Um, do you a little cardio while during this time. But jump rope, jump rope, jump rope is really good for keeping your legs strong and healthy, which I think Jen talked about um, in her video with baseball pitching and throwing. It's not always all about the shoulder, which people might think about. It's really about the legs, especially in softball pitching, like we talked about, um, really getting your weight back and springing forward. So it's really good to work on your springiness and um, your strength and your endurance. So I would just challenge you guys to um, maybe bump it up by like 30 seconds every time that you try it as you get better. Maybe start with 30 seconds the first day, get up to a minute, two minutes, maybe even five minutes. I've heard that some of the most trained pitchers do it for like about 15 minutes at a time. So I don't know if I could do that, but <laughs> it's something to work up to and it you definitely cannot do enough jump rope to help with, uh, with your legs in pitching. So. I think that's about it, but we will have time for Q and A. Um, here, I'll bring it over here. But I, I do want to mention, just like talk to you, to you guys about um, something that I've learned as a college athlete. Thank you. Um, and I will say it has has taken me kind of this long to realize that softball isn't so much about me and my performance and doing well as an athlete but really um, just giving everything back to God and really being a good t teammate to my to my teammates so um, this was something that happened last last season. Um, I was pitching in a game, and for some reason, just nothing was working. I could not, I could not throw a strike, and it was the weirdest thing. Um, so after, um, after so many balls <laughs> and walked batters. It was really embarrassing actually, but um, I was just so frustrated and I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what, what was going wrong. So um, I think after about three innings, my coach took me out and put in a, a pitcher that really didn't see, uh, see that many innings. Um, and this, this opportunity was just really big for her confidence. She did. She did lights out. She was she was the hero for the day. She did awesome. So um, it wasn't till after the game that I realized, you know, if if I wouldn't have, you know, struggled, then she probably wouldn't have gotten that time. And after the game, I was I was still pretty upset. I was just thinking about myself, pretty selfish. Um, like, dang, I just I just wish I. I, I could have known like what was going on like I just 
I don't understand. But um, my dad came up to me after the game and uh, just one of the only things he said to me was, you know, maybe that was the Holy Spirit like working through you in some strange way. Like that doesn't really seem seem like it, but um, I don't know that that um, that time just really stuck with me because whether it was the Holy Spirit working through me or not, to really give my teammate a chance and to make her her feel good about herself, um, it just reminded me that you know softball doesn't isn't about me and how I'm doing. It matters. Am I able to encourage my teammates? Am I able to, you know, give them the support and um, congratulate them even if I feel pretty cruddy about myself? Um, and really like focusing on giving God the glory. So that's something that I learned. Um, that's about it. I would just, I would just um, ask you guys to pray on that a little bit. Am I, why do I play my sport? How am I giving God the glory? How can I be a better teammate? Um, and I think that will be really um, beneficial for you guys, especially during this time when you have more time to reflect and think about it. So, I just want to end in a quick quick prayer and then we'll take some questions. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and never shall be world without end. Amen. Mother Mary pray for us. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. I'm looking for some questions. Oh, pitching drills inside. Cool. I was thinking about that, but I just was, had so many things I felt like I was talking about. So, pitching drills inside. Um, I had a pair of socks. So, what I was told when I was, <laughs> what I was told when I was learning how to pitch, if I wanted to practice inside, take a pair of socks. Of course, socks can still, like, knock over a lamp and stuff so be very careful but um if you want to like throw a pair of socks into your into your bed or your couch uh the same way that you would throw a ball into a tarp it really works the same so um just go through those drills work on your snaps with some socks inside <laughs> that would be my biggest thing that's what i like to do when i was learning All right, doesn't look like we have any more questions. But thank you again to everybody for being patient who's on live. And uh, I'm really happy that I could um, be with you day today and hopefully help you out a little bit and share my, my knowledge that I've accumulated through the years playing, playing all this softball. Um, and I wish you all the best during this time and stay strong and positive and keep trusting in God. But thank you again and God bless.